Bad news, gang. Interstate is currently shut down in Pennsylvania. You see why? We're stuck at a little truck stop. A little mom and pop. About to go in and do a little investigating. Pennsylvania, that's where I'm at. Y'all can see it, man. It's just coming down pretty bad out here right now. Interstate just shut down. Well, it actually shut down at midnight. But uh, I basically just drove as far as I could before I had to get off the road. I drove about, about 80 miles. Let's see how long we're going to be sitting here. this out. I think I might have broke down on the wrong side of town. Yeah, it's starting to come down pretty bad. Yeah, that's a little small truck stop, man. I'm gonna go back to the truck. I already had breakfast. Ate some cereal. What time is it? 9.08. Probably about 12. 12, 1 o'clock. I'm gonna go over there. Twin Rocks, Twin Rocks Diner. A little country diners always have some good food. Yeah, I go check it out a little bit. It is currently 2.25 p.m. We're still in Pennsylvania. Just walked over to that little restaurant, got some lunch. I actually got breakfast. I actually got breakfast for lunch. I had eggs, onions, mushrooms, home fries, uh, a, a hamburger steak, and I had rye toast. Looks like we're gonna be down for a while. Let's see how long I've been off duty. I've been off duty six hours and 17 minutes. According to the guy inside the gas station, he said it might open up. They might open up the roads at 6 a.m. I just talked to another trucker at the, at the uh, diner. He said he just got pulled over. <laughs> the uh, state trooper gave him a warning, but it's actually a, a $300 ticket if you get caught. $300 ticket to the driver, $300 to the company. So, uh, I'm pretty sure your company is not going to like that. <laughs> if you know you're not supposed to be on the road, and, and, and I know with Melton, they sent us a Qualcomm message. So you know you can't, you can't be on the road. So, uh, don't get no ticket. They close the roads, you just got to park the damn truck, man. That's all you can do. That's what I'm doing right now. Do I like it? Hell no. But it is what it is. Could this be a White World 3 video? I never made a White World Part 3. I made a 2.5. I was gonna make a 3, but I thought I was gonna see more snow. So could this be White World 3? It could be. It actually looked like it stopped snowing right now. Yes, maybe the roads will open up. But in the meantime, I'm about to get my ass back here in this sleeper and take a nap. Stay safe, flatbed gang.
Going on day two. Day two still sitting here. A little truck stop. I like that. That's a beautiful sun, sunrise right there. Yeah, that is beautiful. Perfect. I could buy some more at Walmart. They ain't nothing like 60 cents. Since I'm at this rest area, I'm about to go ahead and fill these things up. in his left lane because I had to go around that USA truck. Yeah, he was going like 35 miles an hour. Yeah, but it shit get hectic. I'm about to break mine on down to about 40. Oh yeah, definitely gonna break it down. I can't even see what's in front of me. Yeah, we're gonna break this thing all the way down. Cut the blinkers on. Ride slow. About a hundred, there's a mile mark, 109 miles from, from Ohio. White World Part 3. Hey, hey Shaq, you asked for it, I told you. I said, this is going to be White World Part 3 right here. Yeah, I'm going to break this thing on down. I seen too many videos of truck accidents yesterday on uh, Facebook when I was uh, stuck at that truck stop. And I seen one that was so bad, like right now, I can't really see too far in front of me. I can see, I can see another truck up there. He need to cut, they need to cut their lights off so I can see his tail lights. But I seen one accident where the trucks Man, it's like the trucks was just driving down the road like I'm doing right now. And uh, they, they couldn't see that it was an accident up ahead. And they were just going head on into it. Probably like five or six trucks. Just, bam, just straight to the accident. And it had some cars in there too. It's starting to clear up a little bit now. Yeah, but we're going to take it easy. We're going to get up out of here. One thing about driving in this snow, man, you got to... You gotta know how to slow it down. There's another mile marker. 108, 108 miles. That's my goal. Make it to Ohio. Next, right onto State Line. What are you doing, Mr. Prime? 
You know where you at? Anybody know where I'm at? I'll tell you what I'm about to do. I'm about to take a 30 minute break and I'm about to do some laundry. Continue for three quarters of a mile. Laundry, take a 30 minute break. I got right now, I got exactly two hours left on my clock, and I got about 250 more miles to go before I make it to uh, make it to my drop, Cosine E. But like I said, I've been I drove probably about a little over 300 miles already. So I'm gonna come up here and do my laundry, see if I can find some. Uh, Call them things, uh, edge protectors. Let's see if I can find some of them. Welcome to Ohio. Well, I'm in Ohio. Ain't got to worry about the damn uh, highway band. That prime flatbed passed me on the highway a little further back. He looked like he lost. And he empty. I don't know what's up with this guy, man. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. 1,000 feet, destination on the right. I wonder if Prime got a terminal back here somewhere. I don't know. Anybody know where I'm at yet? I'm about to find out in about 30 seconds. Your destination is on the right. My destination is on the right. Destination is on the right. Last time I was here, there was a lot of trucks on the yard. Ain't nobody here now. smoking cigarettes and shit. I don't know if they students or drivers. I don't know. Yeah. Go ahead and do some laundry real quick. So this is a 30 minute break, but I might take about an hour. But it'll be alright, because I still make it to my drop. Drop is at 7.30 tomorrow. I'll make it there. Oh, and we here. I-80 shut down due to high. Oh, that's I-80 Wyoming. Oh, good thing I ain't in Wyoming. Catch up with y'all in a minute. Look what I found. Must be too cold for those students to come outside. Whew. Yep, take my 30 minute break here. Uh, do my laundry. Had to grab a little bit of equipment. Mainly edge protectors. Bam, how about that? What y'all think about that? Goddamn sure needed some. Put this windshield wiper fluid in my truck. Ugh. 
Yeah, man, that's about it. Once you wipe the floor, edge protectors. I got lucky. The guy was like, somebody just left some. I'm on my 30 minute break now. So, I, so technically, I should be taking a break. I shouldn't be working. But you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Flatbed game. Ain't that where everybody keep them at? Let me ask y'all something. Do anybody else keep their bungees inside here besides me? A lot of people keep them right there or right there. But I like mine's right there. And this other driver asked me, he said, how do you fit them in there? I said, man, they fit. I just, I just put them in there. Yeah. Look. Close the door. They fit perfect. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and wrap this video up. It'll probably be about 10 minutes long. But uh, I made it safely out of Pennsylvania. About to put this uh, windshield wiper fluid in, my, in here. Oh yeah, I got a new name for myself. I'm not a super trucker. I'm a super rookie. I seen that on another driver's uh, another driver's video. He was talking about super rookies. That's what I am, a super rookie. Better than the average rookie. What y'all think? Leave it down in the comments. Catch up later, gang. I'm out.